Hey YouTube, this is your girl, the head guru, Carla, and I'm back with another video. So my client has scalp psoriasis. It is a common skin disorder that often have little scaly patches on the scalp. It itches. It does not cause hair loss, but if you scratch it a lot, if you irritate it, the stress, all the picking, all that can cause hair loss. So she wanted me to just shave all her hair off so she would be able to shampoo her hair. Well, not her hair anymore. Shampoo her scalp every day. She wanted to be able to treat it and, you know, take care of her scalp. So she's going to have me shave all her hair off. And then I'm going to go ahead and make her a custom made wig. So she'll have one where she don't want to be bald headed. So that's what we we are about to do. We're about to shave her hair off. And I'm gonna make her a custom made wig. So as y'all can see all that dandruff like flaking on her scalp. That's the mal psoriasis. Her doctor has prescribed her some medicated shampoo. So she wanna be able to shampoo her scalp every day. So I'm just, you know, I don't mind shaving her hair off. So it's going to grow back. It's only hair. She's going to use her dandruff shampoo and we're going to use, well, I'm going to try um, the Granny's Natural Creations. I'm going to give her that to put on her scalp. And we're going to see how fast her hair is going to grow back after we get rid of the psoriasis but it's only hair is gonna grow back but in the meantime like i said i'm gonna make her the custom made wig so she'll have that for when she don't want to be bald headed so y'all stay tuned in so i just finished shampooing her head with medicated shampoo as y'all can see her scalp is reddish that's the symptoms from the psoriasis all the scale the scales and the dandruff are shampooed off so it's kind of pinkish but it doesn't hurt it's not tender to the touch that's just from me shampooing all the flakes off from the psoriasis so i'm about to start making her wig that's a plastic cap i put on the scalp so none of the glue nor the spritz or none of that would get on the scalp to irritate the scalp. So I use the plastic cap as a barrier between the scalp and making the wig. So now I'm using the pump it up and the 30 second glue to make the wig. So that she'll have the wig for whenever she don't wanna be bald, if she have to go somewhere and don't wanna be bald, you know, she can just put the wig on. But then if she's too hot and she's home and don't feel like wearing the wig, she can just pull it off. So this is basically an easy style for her to easily put on and take off. It's like a chop, razor cut, bob with a bang. The easiest wig you can have. Easy to put on, easy to take off. So that's what we're doing right now. So y'all keep watching. I'm done making the wig. Now I'm about to take it off and take the plastic cap off. Nothing got on her scalp. Her scalp's still good. It's not irritated or anything. So now I'm going to put the wig back on. And then 
I'm gonna cut it to the style she wants and she'll be put on the dryer and then I'll proceed with the styling so y'all stay tuned in for the cut and the style She is enjoying this bald head, y'all. But anyway, she just got from under the dryer, even though we could have put the wig under the dryer. But she wanted to go under the dryer. I guess she had nothing else to do, so she didn't mind. But anyway, as y'all can see, I had just finished cutting off the excess stocking cap from around the rim of the wig. So... That's what I was doing. So now I'm going to put the wig back on. And I'm going to proceed with the styling. And for all you natural people that hates wigs and weaves and all that. This is her choice. This is something she wanted to do. I know y'all are going to ask why cut her hair off and then put the wig on. But that's what she wanted to do. She wanted the wig for the times when she don't want to be bald headed. I think she just want to be free when she want to be free. And then when she want to have hair, she want to have hair. So that's her request and that's what she wanted. So y'all don't come for me and ask, why did I do it? I did it because that's what she wanted. At the end of the day, it's the client's choice. They're paying me. I can only advise them, but I have to go with what they want. Final say is what the client wants. So that's what I'm doing. I made her a wig and now I'm styling it and that's what she wanted.
so this is the end of my video y'all this is the end of the styling she loves her wig look at her slinging it y'all <laughs> she is enjoying this wig but i know she's gonna like her bald head better look at her slinging so the wig is not going anywhere the dome cap is very very snug that's what i made the wig on on the dome cap it's very very snug it's not gonna fall off the only way it's coming off is if somebody pull it off so it's very secure and it's easy to put on easy to take off so i'll keep y'all updated with whether she likes the wig kept the wig or she wore her bald head or if she came back and got a weave you know everybody loved the weave but a lot of people love the weave they can't stay away from it so i'll keep y'all updated about that maybe with another video but thank y'all for watching. Until the next video, stay blessed.